What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So if you're watching this video, I hope you watched part one already. Um, I do go into a lot of detail on this deck and kind of how you want to pilot it against monsters and why I have every card in the deck. So if you have not watched part one of this video, you should close this video and go watch the other one because I am not going to go through the whole deck again. Uh, this is more just a very, very short uh, to the point intro. Um, we're going to show two more videos today um, with this deck against Detlaf, which is the main target for this deck. Um, I also wanted to note, I forgot to put this in the first video, if for whatever reason this deck becomes super popular and everybody starts playing the deck because Detlaf is annoying to face against, um, there is still hope, right? It's not, oh, Usurper just broke the meta and now the meta is not fun and now I don't get to play my leader anymore. If you're having issues with this kind of deck, any kind of engine deck beats this, right? This deck, as I mentioned in the previous video, has zero removal. There's not a single lock in this deck. There's no damage in this deck other than uh, Scholar or Cutthroat, which doesn't really count, uh, and Gorgon, which doesn't count for engine removal. So there's, there's basically no uh, damage in this deck. So any kind of engine deck, any kind of Northern Realms deck, any kind of Scoia'tael Dana deck is going to beat this deck because... Engines are good when left untouched. So if for whatever reason you're having difficulty with this deck or beating this deck, just play engines and you'll be good to go. So uh, yeah, very short intro. Once again, if you have not watched the first video, go watch it. I do go over everything. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the two games today and I'll see you guys on the next one. So Vivian is actually a good card with Roach. Yeah, it's not bad. All right. There is no other um, yeah, it's not bad. It's also decent with uh, Germain, which is why Germain addition to the stack is actually pretty decent. What's her provision cost? 10. She typically gets 10 for 10, which, I mean, doesn't sound very good, but in Nilf card, they don't really have high explosive cards, so 10 for 10 is fine. I can't pop these, kind of sucks. Knowledge is the sole treasure worth seeking. List? Uh, I think there's a new surfer command somewhere. Hmm. Really good draw. I'll, I'll be adding the list later today on my play, Gwen. I guess I can add it now. It's doing well. It's doing well enough that I don't think I mind adding it. He wants high unit, obviously. Um. I don't know. I don't remember if he plays Azrael or not. But ripping Roach is pretty good. The common folk. I care for that. Why do you even run sergeants if you never play them because you're afraid of removal? I don't know. I could remove them. What do I play? What's a better 4 drop than Nausicaa? I mean, we're already running Cutthroat and Scholar. What do we play instead of Nausicaa? Shit, he plays Roach too. If not by strength. Knight Arantz. Oh, those are the cards that do damage if they have a 6. Yeah, I could play that card. It's okay, I guess. I think we're passing. Is this like the 7th Detlaf in a row? Everybody's playing Detlaf. Any, any high... Any competitive player is going to play Detlaf right now because it's just going to get nerfed. So you got to play it before. You got to get your high pro rank MMR before it disappears. Like it makes sense. Any any high pro rank player who is interested in ladder is going to be spamming Detlaf because he'll just get nerfed within like a week. It's a really sad reason. Is it? Think about it. If you're a competitive player, you're going to do everything in your ability to get the highest possible pro ladder rank. Keep calm. 
If that means spamming that laugh, it's just, it is what it is, right? I have one too. Do you have Gerald in your hand? Let's get this over. Of course you do. Please wait, Your Excellency. Falling behind. I'd be the best and last. Am I gonna do it again? Ugh, it's really pushing it. Sixteen flip, sixteen, nineteen, this goes to eight, so it's a six. The twenty-five flip puts me at thirty-eight. Alright. Keep putting pressure. Yeah, that's right, new card. Hog champ. Do it last unexpected? No, because I wanna go to go a card up. I want card advantage. I like card advantage. Card advantage is cool. Mm, these emissaries are doing work. Mmm. Mmm. Let's 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 uh, finish it off with a slave infantry. All right, Ife Bowman, Freddy, and Adzikov. Would you say Gwent is in a good state right now? Not if you're a Northern Realms main, it isn't. As long as you're not playing Northern Realms. It's very heavy uh, removal meta, which means if you want to come in and play some Mimi like Northern Realms deck, you're going to cry. But as long as you don't mind playing against the same leader every single game... Uh, yeah, that was great. Literally every single streamer is abusing it right now while they can. Huh? What are your thoughts on CC expansion? Um, I like it for the most part. I think, I think they went a little overkill on the bombs. They added six five provision bombs, which mm, it's a lot, a lot of removal, which typically you don't really want to do. But mm. public shaming, not public shaming. Well, so this card's pretty good. Okay, if you drew both plumards, I'm gonna be sad. Um, but this card's pretty good if you lose coin. Ay ay ay. How long do you have to wait for debt laugh nerf? I don't know, five days? A week? Two weeks? I mean, in theory, based on the way they've worked in the past, it should be the end of the month. Um, but I don't know if they're willing to let the meta go like this until the end of the month. Maybe they are. I don't know. It's, I, there's no way of knowing. I'm doing this again because I want to rip brooch. Now the game is full of usurpers. You're welcome. You want me to play a deck that can beat usurper? Because I can play a deck that can beat usurper. That's pretty easy to do.
Alright, it's not hard to beat Usurper. You ready? You wanna know how you play- you beat Usurper? You play Engines. Deck has zero removal. If you play an Engine deck, you're gonna shit on this deck. This deck literally has zero removal in the deck. There's not a single- there's a Peter, that's it, which says nothing. Right? So, the counter to this deck is Engines, as stupid as that sounds. All you gotta do is play Engines! Right? And then Midrange comes back. It's an endless, vicious cycle. <laughs> but the idea is we want to start that cycle. Hence why we are playing this deck. Right? Like, yeah, okay, maybe Usurper meta is frustrating, but it pushes the meta in the right direction. Are you... The Piga? I mean, I'd love Caldwell, but the reality is, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna, all these cards are high tier, I'm not gonna mulligan any away. Or maybe, Caldwell. This is Westworld music? Yeah. Why are streamers posting bad decks? What do you mean? This deck is fine. Oh, like a CC deck? Well, I mean, it's not necessarily a bad thing to post CC decks, right? Because some people like to play new shit, right? Some people like playing those types of decks. Oh, we could lose this. We could lose this easily. That that dead laugh is very scary. And once again, I have no answers. We do have Peter, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, if he has enough consume text, he might win. Just play locks? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I think locks... Well, locks are a mistake. Like, the ox Serret letho combo is not actually good. Because if you're not hitting engines, you're like... You're not doing very well, so I, I think they're actually a trap. Can't you just Peter Karen? Yep, that's my point. That's why I'm not too concerned. I'm like somewhat concerned, but not super concerned. Freddy is angry at you. He just hosted Crozer. I mean, Freddy, I don't know if you can hear me. You probably can't, but... You have to admit, this stat laugh meta is kind of a pain in the ass. So, you're welcome. <laughs> What's the point of Jermaine? Slave ticks and Vivian on uh, Jermaine. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Should I play for high unit? Huh? I mean, okay, let's think about this. Are we ever getting better value than this? And I think the answer is no. I, I mean, it's an 11 reset. I'm gonna play around cards that require high unit. I think we're okay, because it's 4-4, four, four, 
Assuming he can take both of these, he gets an extra 10 points. But we have a 9, a 10, a 11, and a... what is this? 6-ish. What does he need for this? I'm not sure. That laugh can be oppressive, I get it. Wait. Who's, who wrote this? Okay. That laugh can be oppressive, I get it. I really do. But there's no unit, no interaction decks are way worse for the health of the game. I'm not disagreeing with you on that. Oh shit, that's really good. Hey, but we're not playing a no unit deck. Are, are we playing a no unit deck? I don't think we're playing a no unit deck. Maybe you are. But I'm not. Play around Caldwell, kind of. I think his last card is Caldwell. Unless, yeah, I think it is. So I think he loses. A shame I have no time. Oh, it's Proto. Cool. Easy. Well, they can add a uh, cruiser to the list. 